The first thing I tasted was the texture, which was quite nice. It was actually pretty creamy. But then I started getting small tastes of onion. These avocados are perfect. Look at that color. I'm putting the flesh into a bag because I'm going to freeze it. Next, I'm gonna cut up some mangoes. Now, we bought these when it was perfect mango season in Taiwan, and these mangoes were some of the most beautiful that I've ever seen. They were so delicious fresh. If you don't know how to cut up a mango, here's how I like to do it. First, I cut the sides off of the seed. Then I remove the thin strip of skin from around the seed. And then I'm going to cut all of the excess flesh off from the seed. Then I like to score the flesh in the remaining two pieces. And you can use a spoon to scoop it out. Or here, I'm just using my hand bowl here. And this one is one of the special milk pineapples. The flesh is actually almost white flesh. So cut just a narrow little strip and keep turning the pineapple until you've taken off the main skin. You might be left with some of these little hard, sharp bits from the skin. You can just go around and remove those with a knife. Next, I like to cut it into quarters. So I'm cutting it from top to bottom into four long pieces. And we have a durian. <laughs> if there was ever a fruit that made it clear it doesn't want to be eaten, I think it's this fruit. Let's see, I heard that you just stick a knife in. Ooh, okay, the knife goes in. And twist. So it has these kinds of like sections which are very interesting and then in this section you can see it has a seed. Yeah, quite a large seed. Wow, yeah, it, it, it's not a nice smelling fruit. Really taste anything like it, what it smells like. Mm, just tastes a little bit funny, but mostly it tastes like. Reminds me kind of like grape, actually. Grape flavor. I kind of like grape texture too, like mixture between grape and banana or something. It does have a little bit of that smell though, I have to say, even after I've eaten it, I can smell a little bit of it. This is 600 NT worth of fruit. It's pretty expensive. Okay, so now all of my bags of fruit are completely frozen. So I took them out and I'm gonna start making ice cream. Which of the fruits, here's the pineapple. And the pineapple turned out gorgeous. The texture was really nice. Next is some mango. Again, beautiful result. Here's the avocado. And lastly, the cherry. And we're done. Look at that, five different flavors of homemade ice cream. Here goes. The first thing I tasted was the texture, which was quite nice. It was actually pretty creamy. But the flavor, well, the first flavor I tasted wasn't too bad and I thought it was gonna be okay. But then I started getting small tastes of onion which is not good at all in my opinion when you add it to the other flavors. But I was glad to try it and maybe we can say, of course it tastes good. It's the taste of new Taiwan dollars since it's a little bit expensive. Okay, next I decided to try the avocado ice cream. Now, I was excited to try this because I knew it would be very creamy. And since avocado doesn't have a lot of natural sugar in it, I added a little bit of honey to mine. 
as expected, very creamy. The honey didn't add a lot of flavor. In fact, this one I felt didn't have much flavor at all. I thought this might be better if I added another fruit to it. Banana is, I think, a very natural choice. All right, next, I'm so excited to try the cherry. Now, this one didn't have the same texture as the other ice creams. It ended up being more of a slushy, we can say, which means it's more liquid than the other ones. But it smelled great. I'm super excited to try this. As I expected, the flavor was awesome. Beautiful cherry flavor. All right, and now it's time for pineapple. And I think this was the most surprising one to me because I didn't think the texture would be creamy at all. Pineapples seem kind of fibery to me, and I was really surprised. It was one of the most creamy of all of the ice creams. You can see it on my spoon there. The texture is just like a delicious sorbet. And this one was a new favorite for me. Wow, it was so good. Very refreshing and a great balance of sweet and just a little bit sour. I had to take another spoon because it was so good. In fact, I went ahead and finished the bowl later. All right, and I saved the one that I was most confident in for last, the mango. In full, the color is so inviting. It just makes you want to eat it. As you can see, it has a great texture too, just like the pineapple, smooth and firm. It's so good. I'm telling you, you have to try it.